Facts First presents NASA scientists are left uneasy after uncovering a new object from space. Earth is just a tiny speck in our universe. In the grand scheme of things, we have seen almost nothing when it comes to the universe around us. Currently, NASA is trying to change that through investigation, observation, and analysis. Even though NASA experts are at the top in their field, they don't always recognize the things that they find. NASA scientists have recently been left uneasy after uncovering a new object in space. The circumference of our Earth is just under 25,000 miles. Now That seems pretty big, but when you put it all into perspective, it doesn't really seem that large. The Earth is part of the Milky Way galaxy, which is much larger. The diameter of our galaxy measures 150,700 light-years. That dwarfs our home planet. Based on the size of the Milky Way, it's clear that we don't know what lies beyond our world. When you think of the Earth, you think of something enormous in size. But when you compare it with the entire universe, it makes you wonder what else is out there. What have we still not discovered? Well, many scientists have dedicated their entire lives to answering these kinds of questions. In 2011, a meteorite named Katrika landed in the Koryak Mountains of eastern Siberia. The landing site was very remote, and scientists made their way to Russia to investigate. Because meteorites come from outer space, they have a significant scientific value. Each impact crater offers scientists an opportunity for discoveries. According to astronomers, it's kind of like Christmas morning when a meteorite hits the ground. In 2011, scientists did not find what they expected. It wasn't a massive meteorite. They found a few shards of interstellar material, and what was inside the meteorite that landed it left scientists baffled. What they were seeing inside this huge meteorite goes against everything that they initially believed. The oldest meteorite ever discovered dates back over 4 billion years. The newest ones come from our moon, and they're said to be around 3 billion years old. When the scientists examined this new interstellar sample, they found some abnormalities. They discovered that something was structurally unusual about it. It was different than a traditional meteorite, and under the microscope it looked much different too. They also found crystals that were of great significance. A regular and predictable atomic structure defines crystals. The lattice patterns are created over and over again, which creates a crystal's glass-like material. The crystal that was found within the meteorite was different, though. The crystal did not consistently repeat the lattice structure. Instead, the connections created uneven patterns, unlike anything ever found on Earth. What they found within the meteorite were quasi-crystals. Scientists since the 60s have created these crystals, but they've never been found to happen in nature. Many researchers believe that quasi-crystals could not exist outside of a lab, so this discovery proved that theory to be wrong. Paul Steinhardt is a theoretical physicist and a cosmologist at Princeton University. He's always believed that quasi-crystals could occur naturally, and this meteorite has given him the chance to confirm his hypothesis. When he and his team looked at the particles in the crystal from the newly discovered meteorite, he noticed something very bizarre. The ratios of oxygen isotopes to other isotopes were way off, and it helped Paul and his team realize what they were looking at. It was a new mineral that was not created on Earth. Paul believes that the crystals were created in a high-pressure environment of outer space before it crashed down in Russia. The discovery of the quasi-crystal proved that Paul was partially right. Although the crystals were not formed on Earth, they are capable of existing in nature. For Paul, that was a major scientific breakthrough. Paul believes that the finding is essential evidence that quasi-crystals can form in nature under astrophysical conditions, and it also provides evidence that this piece of matter can remain stable for billions of years. Paul and his team managed to recover a few more samples of the meteorite, which gave them two more examples of these interstellar quasi-crystals. He believed that these discoveries, which have proven part of his hypothesis correct, it's a fantastic find. He never expected to see something like this in his own lifetime. This discovery of this meteorite and its crystals its just proof there is so much about the universe we simply don't know. Only time will tell what we find next from outer space, probably beyond our wildest imaginations. It'll be interesting to see what we find next will tell us about the universe, or maybe even ourselves. Scientists continue to study outer space as much as possible so we can learn a bit more about the mysteries behind what's out there beyond our planet. Subscribe for more.